right now, my queens, and we're just going to take this Santi Cosmetics 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. I'm just going to use that as a primer, like always. I'm going to blend that out with my finger. And once I blend it out, I'm going to go ahead and over top of that with some Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. That just helps with blending and less creasing in the eyeshadow. You guys know this is my favorite palette, so I'm going to take this lighter gray color and I'm going to use that as my transition color. And I'm going to use that in my crease and above my crease as well. Now this is the same Santi Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette that I used in the Jessica Dime, but I'm going to use that frosty white color and I'm going to use that all over the mobile eyelid. i um, not taking it all the way to the outer V, but I'm going to, majority of the mobile lid I will be using this color. Using just packing motions and a flat eyeshadow brush. Now in that same palette, I'm going to take the darker gray and a little bit of the black and go back and forth with those colors to create this smoky effect that Tommy had in the picture. And I'm just going to use that for the outer V and kind of take it into my crease as well. But I'm going to make sure that I keep packing on that frosty white color so it doesn't fade out with the darker colors. Then I'm going to take this LA Colors eyeshadow quad and I'm going to use that uh, tan color and I'm going to use that for my brow bone just to kind of set the concealer that I use to crisp up my eyebrows. Not really for color purposes. Then I'm going to take this LA Colors liquid eyeliner in black. Got this from Dollar Tree. You guys should know that already. But yeah, I'm going to create my wing using that product. Now Tommy's wing liner looked like it was a little bit faded. I'm not exactly sure the technique that her makeup artist used, but I tried it on my own and it looks pretty decent. I went ahead and just took those that black and gray color and just kind of faded it um, into, took a small brush and just kind of faded it into the wing liner. So next I'm going to just put on my face and my favorite lashes, which I will have a discount code in the description box. But then I'm going to go ahead with my Silk Assign by L'Oreal Gel Eyeliner. And you can get this at CVS, uh, Rite Aid, um, Walgreens, anywhere. I think it's at Walmart as well. This eyeliner pencil is 
bomb and it goes on so smooth you don't have to pretty much jab your eyeball out um to get a nice color payoff so i love that then i'm going to take this like blending brush and i'm just going to kind of fade that out because tommy's looked like it was a little bit faded underneath so kind of just smoking that out then i'm going to take my um urban decay perversion and mascara and i'm going to use that to merge my lashes with the falsies and also my bottom lashes And then I'm going to take that same frosty white color we used on the mobile lid and I'm going to put that in my inner tear duct as well just to brighten up the entire look and make my eyes look really awake and bright. Then I'm going to contour my nose because I totally forgot to do it. I always forget to contour my nose. So I went ahead and contoured my nose because Tommy's be contoured, honey. Then I'm going to go ahead with my mineralized skin finish from MAC and Gold Deposit. And I'm going to use that as my highlight. I love Gold Deposit. I think it's beautiful for women of color. Then I'm going to go in with this J Cat You Glow Girl in Twilight highlight and I'm going to use that over top of the go deposit. And then I'm going to go in with this lip liner from Clean Color Cosmetics and it's in brown and I'm just going to align my lips just to give my lips some shape and then Tommy looked like she just had a really nice full glossy lip so I went ahead and just used this LA Colors clear lip gloss that I got from the Dollar Tree and it worked out perfect. I absolutely love this look. I love how um, 90s-esque it looks. I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna spray down my face with some um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and that is the makeup look. So now to the highlight of the video, this hair is from Monica Hair. Um, I believe that's how you spell it, but I will leave everything down below. You, This is a Amazon company. Um, I do have three bundles and a close you're in and I went ahead and styled it just um, as well as I could to kind of resemble Tommy's look on the reunion episode I absolutely loved her creativity with this um, I do follow her makeup artist I mean her hairstylist and her makeup artist on YouTube so or not YouTube um, Instagram so yeah I wanted to see how she kind of got came up with this but you know I did the best that I could I know a lot of people didn't really like the bun thing in the back but I absolutely love the style and I love this hair it worked really really well it cut really really well um, I did use a closure so it's much easier to um, construct units on a closure in my opinion because you don't really have to worry about sizing issues but yeah let me know what you guys think of this entire look you guys know i love creating these celebrity inspired looks and let me know if you have any questions down um leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible this is an amazon company so you can use your amazon prime if you are a prime member so you'll get your hair like super quick i absolutely love the hair so let me know what you guys think down below i love you guys and i will see you queens in my next one don't forget to subscribe share follow me on snap and instagram deuces